हेलो वेलकम टू एक्सप्लोर एंड डिस्कवर Though the journey was long, the view was just amazing. We couldn't wait to get a closer look on the snow-capped mountains. We arrived at Kiruna, dropped our bags at the hotel, and we set off for day one of our adventure. We stayed at the Bishop Arms. The hotel was located at the heart of the city, and it was super easy to find. Services was great, and we would definitely recommend. If you're looking for just the right touch for some morning breakfast, Cafe Safari is a perfect place to go. We rented a car, buckled up, and headed over to Abisko, our first location. For those visiting Abisko, Aurora Sky Station is a must. The view is fantastic. Due to off-season timings, it was closed until June. So guys, make sure you book and check the open timings before you visit. But our attraction was this amazing stream running down from ice cap mountains. Behind you can see a train that's going towards Elko OB which is the largest and most modern underground iron ore mine in the world. This is also a walking trail called the Kungsleden Trail which stretches to 440 km starting from here to Hemavan in the south of Sweden. For a good view of the city, we recommend this spot, Riksbyggen, which is also a ski destination during winter. Oh, it's 10 p.m. and the sun is still up. This happens only in the north. We headed over to get a view of Kebnekaise under the midnight sun. Kebnekaise is the highest mountain in Sweden. We were lucky enough to spot moose and reindeers on our way back. Moose is considered as a camel of Lapland. The plan for day 2 was a visit to the husky farm. We were picked up by the farm owner. Away, she explained a lot about the huskies. Let's hear what she has to say. He's left and right, uh, Swedish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the younger dog, uh, I have started to go over to the international uh, language, uh, where we say "ji," "ji" that way, and "ha" that way. Uh, and because if you buy a dog from Alaska.
we had a guided tour of the farm followed by a husky ride through the forest on an all-terrain vehicle. Here you can see our host preparing us coffee and reindeer sandwich. Our day couldn't have ended well without a warm cup of Swedish coffee and reindeer sandwich which is a must try in Lapland. Rolling on to day 3. We headed over to Rikskransen, a popular ski resort in Kiruna, also close to Swedish Norwegian border. The word Rikskransen means the national border in Swedish. Here we found some people fishing on the frozen lake. We ended our trip with a relaxing spa experience at the Aurora Spa in Camp Ripen. It was time for us to end this amazing trip. I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you for watching.